So for example, I earned the uh, Crunked badge, and that is for checking into at least four places in a single night. Now I think the assumption there <laughs> is that you're checking into four different, you know, establishments where, uh, you know, alcohol served or whatever. Uh, I went back to check how I unlocked it. Uh, let's see, that night it was Kohl's, Hallmark, Joanne Fabrics, <laughs> my wife does beating, thank you very much, and uh, Chick-fil-A. So, you know, I I don't know what to say. You know, there's, there's times you get a badge and you're like, well, what did I get that for? But, you know, it's fun looking at that. Now, this, so this shows kind of what it looks like when uh, when you show up with your with your smartphone. By the way, here, here's the other, this is the important thing. This isn't Foursquare, the magic of it, or any of these things, is that it's integrated with your Twitter and your Facebook, okay? So when you check in, it's not just a matter of the other people in Foursquare seeing that. You know, right now, my 2,000 followers are sitting there going, oh, Ken's at the courtyard. Ken's the mayor of the courtyard in, in Newark, not Rodney. But, um, <laughs> but no, so you show up in a place, and, and it's, it's all GPS based, so all the phone knows is, okay, you're in this area, and there's all these things in this area, so you'll get a full list of, like, all these dozens of places around here. You know, if I wanted to right now, I could check in and say, well, somewhere on Main Street or whatever, but we won't do that. Now, the business is smart, and this, and the courtyard is, by the way, they put up a little thing here that says special. It's kind of eye-catching. Now what that means, is, and, and, and believe me, if I see that, I check it out to see what is the special. The special can be check in here, and uh, I think here, what, what is it? Anybody know what the special is here? Us. Huh? Yeah, uh, Colleen did all this. <laughs> Col Colleen did it. Colleen's not here. Okay, here we go. I'm hitting the special button. Okay, Courtyard Newark, University of Delaware. The Courtyard at the University of Delaware is giving four square visitors a free crab cake appetizer with an entree purchase between January 15 and March 15. Special is only offered here. So if you come in here, it's between January, yeah. So if anybody wants to stick around this afternoon, jump on Foursquare, I guess show the server this, you know, free crab, crab cake uh, appetizer. The other night, my, my wife and I were up in um, Harrisburg. We went to Chili's. I went to check in. Oh, all I have to do is show this to the waitress. I get uh, free chips and salsa. Wow. Not a bad deal. Um, down at People's Plaza area. <coughs> I was checking in, it's all Radio Shack guys special. Come in, check in, you get 10% off or whatever you're, you're buying there. So a way to, to, to engage people and grab people, so even if they're not coming to your place, if, if, you're, located, if you're located along Main Street or something, <coughs> it's a great way to grab people's attention. Uh, there, here's an example of uh, what that special offer thing might look like. Uh, and this is where this is where I encourage you to be creative in, in thinking about the different things that you can do with this. It doesn't necessarily have to be a giveaway or a prize or anything like that. So we covered the what, who, who's using Foursquare? So far about 4 million people and rising. Again, this number is going up exponentially. There's more and more people catching on every day. Uh, so it's men, women, teens, business people, musicians, young people, young at heart people, entrepreneurs, everybody. You know, this is not limited to just the under 30 crowd, it's, uh, it's growing in use everywhere. So the question every normal person is going to be asking, why? Why do you go and check in at places? Why do you show people where you are? What, what is driving these people? Now, again, this is a relatively new phenomenon. The, the tools are, are just coming into to, to being right now. So no uh, sociologists have had a chance to write a book on it. So we have to go with uh, some general theories. I have a couple of theories. First theory, people who engage in so location-based social media are interested in connecting and building a stronger community, strengthening bonds of friendship, and opening themselves up to new experiences and opportunities. Doesn't that sound good? <laughs> Isn't that, is that, anybody with me on that theory? Okay, okay. The rest of you might like theory number two. People engage in location-based social media are the most self-centered, ego-driven, narcissistic individuals on the face of the planet. Yeah. Anybody buy that one? <laughs> I get accused of that one regularly. Okay. I I would argue that the truth lies somewhere in between there. 
and it varies from day to day. You know, there are, there are times when it's like, hey, just want to connect with everybody. There's other times when it's like, gosh darn it, I, I want people to pay attention to me. Um, and they do. We'll get, get to that later. Isn't it, um, is, yeah. Is it yes. Like, it strikes me that it's almost like a self-imposed form of bondage in a way. Like you are, you are buying into something where you are being driven by the thing that you're buying into. It, it you know, not too tight here. The, the, makes my fingers tingle, kind of thing. The, 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 that there, it could be. And I mean, like I said, you thought about. I know you thought about. I, I, I have. There, there are uh, now, and, and sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a not so good way. So, all good. Uh, well, so for instance, um, a few weeks ago, I, I did a very unbelievably stereotypical thing to do at the beginning of the year. Joined a gym, okay? But I made the commitment. I'm going to show up. I'm going to work out all the time. Uh, well, every day. And, and I go at 5 in the morning. So who's going to know whether I'm actually going to work out? I mean, obviously, it'll show eventually one way or another. But I'm there at 5 in the morning. Yes, Linda, you see you see those check-ins, don't you? So, I'm, so you know, and this morning, I got people going, wow, even with the weather the way it is, you showed up cool. You know, so... So there's yes when I get, when my alarm goes off at quarter or five in the morning I'm like I don't want to go I don't want to go but by golly I gotta go I got something to prove here so in that way it could be a good thing all right you know folks here's here's the thing making your way in the world today takes everything you've got <laughs> taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. <laughs> How many have had the, the, the norm moment? You know, walking into a business or a room or something, and, and, and people are like, oh, we know you. you know, isn't it great? You know, a, a perfect cop. The manager there still doesn't know what force prayer is, but she knows I'm the, I'm the mayor there. So, <laughs> so, you know, I go in, I'm the mayor. A uh, little extra whipped cream, please. Thank you very much. You know, it's, it's, isn't it nice just to be recognized? Okay, so as this thing is moving and taking over our lives, um, the question is, in a couple of years, people are going to have a choice. They can walk, I mean, let's face it, Main Street, uh, Main Street, New York. How many restaurants, coffee shops, everything do we have there? Okay. So I have a choice. I can walk into the place where I show the person behind the counter or the server, hey, I just checked in here, and they go, great, thank you, what can we do for you? That's awesome, give me a high five. Or I go into the place where I say, hey, I just checked in here, and they look at you like you have a second <coughs> head. Huh? What? You checked in? What? Huh? Who cares? You know, which place are you going to choose to go? So that's, that's just something to think about for those of you who are in the... Uh, Restaurant and or well, any business where there's uh, foot traffic traffic measure. Okay, so some personal.